All right, so you have a beard and you have a wooden beard comb. All right, you took the plunge, you bought yourself a beard comb. And you wanna make it smell good? Let me show you what I do. I've had many combs over my lifetime and beard career. And what I do is I put the wooden comb in with my favorite pipe tobacco. Now this is Lane 1Q in a Ziploc. This, this has been in here two weeks. Open that dog up. Two weeks now it's been in there. So I just kind of flick it so none of the tobacco is on it. Now it, it absorbs the smell. Your average beard comb. Holy crap, honestly. Don't confuse the smell of pipe tobacco with the smell of cigarettes. Don't, or an ashtray. It's not the same. Tobacco is sweet, it's beautiful. It almost makes you just wanna like grab it and eat it. It's just, it's so, oh, it's incredible. Anyways, wood absorbs odors. This beard comb right now, my wooden beard comb, smells so sick, it's crazy. Remember when the word sick actually used to mean like sick? Like, like you're in bed sick. So, like, someone says, man, that's a, that's a sick beard. Seriously, 20 years ago, that would have been an insult. Like, I'll, I'll never forget one of my first videos that I ever did, and someone said, dope. The next comment was, your beard is dope. All right, now I'm closer to 60 than 50. What do you think I thought? I thought they were calling me a dope. <laughs> So I guess that now means a good thing. That's a dope beard, right? Or that motorcycle is dope. The smell is sick. I'm telling you, it's crazy. The smell is dope. <laughs> I actually love this. Uh, just a stupid, simple way to put a nice scent in your beard comb. Just like adding pleasure to your day. Anywhere in your day, the simplest things. Making your wooden beard comb smell so badass scrumptious it's incredible this is lane 1q pipe tobacco now it'll go back into my little supply but this has been in here for two weeks now and it's crazy good try it you'll like it. it's just another thing to make your day a little bit nicer and add you know a one second smile on your face in a world that's always trying to take your smile away